At 3.30, we got Akron, who went 2-10, and 10, traveling to number two, Ohio State, who went 11-2. and two. Ohio State favored by 50.5 points on CBS. Jeff Undercuffler Jr. for the Zips went 138 to 224, threw for 1,378 yards, four touchdowns to nine interceptions. Not good. Lorenzo Lingard had 143 carries for 641 yards and four touchdowns. And Josiah Gaffings had 55 catches for 575 yards and a touchdown. None of those players returned, though, so I don't know why that was important for any of you to hear, but I read them all to you. Uh, Kyle McCord for the Buckeyes went 229 of 348, threw for 3,170 yards, 24 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. He left. He was on his way to Syracuse. He transferred out because they're going to start Will Howard this year. Trevion Henderson had 156 carries for 926 yards and 11 touchdowns. He does return this year. And not to mention you bring in Quidditch and Judkins to be a number one, number two punch that might be the best in the entire nation. Maserati Marv is unfortunately gone. He had 67 catches for 1,211 yards and 14 touchdowns. Uh, you still have a Mecca Igbuka, though, so it's like not that big of a loss, and it's still going to be a crazy receiving core. Ohio State is 8-1 and one against Akron all time. Weirdly enough, they lost a game to Akron. I don't know when that happened. <laughs> last five games. Okay, well, I, now I know why. Last five games have gone to Ohio State from 1895 to 2021. So I think... I, I have a theory that um, they won in the 1800s, Akron did. Um, so maybe maybe that's not like a realistic thing to happen again. Um, they're 2-1 and one in one-possession games. Really enough, they have played in one pos- three one-possession games in this series of the nine. A third of the game, 33% have been one-possession games. Um, they also, Akron, the one game they won was in Columbus. Uh, Ohio State 7-1 and one in Columbus all time. Eight of the nine games have been played in Columbus. Um... That being said, Ohio State's going to kick Akron's ass. Um, I'm sorry, Akron fans out there. I think even you know that's that's what's going to happen in this game. I'm sorry, guys. Guys, I hate to break it to you. Um, that's what is going to happen is Ohio State is going to kick your ass up and down a football field. Um, that's just what's going to happen. I, I'm excited to see Will Howard play quarterback. I think if I had to pick my national championship team right now, it would be Ohio State. I think Ohio State's the best team in the nation. Now, I could easily be wrong. I mean, it's a lot of how good I think Will Howard's going to be. I think Will Howard's going to be actually pretty good. Um, if he's not, then obviously that changes things, right? But you're talking about the best running one-two running back punch maybe in the entire nation in Quincha Judkins and Trevion Henderson. You're talking about a really great receiver in Emeka Ibuka. And trust me, Ohio State will have other great receivers. They, they're wide receiver you really. I mean, them and LSU really produce pump out NFL caliber with wide receivers every year. So I think it's going to be really interesting. This is an offense that I think is going to be unstoppable. Ohio State's defense is always really good. If I had to pick my national champion, it would be Ohio State right now. Um, Akron, believe it or not, is not going to be my national champion. I'm not going to pick Akron to win it. So <laughs> Akron went 2-10 and 10 this year. I hope that they make a little bit of an improvement on that because I'd love Jewel Moorhead to keep his job. But Akron's not going to be good enough right off the bat to beat Ohio State. It just ain't going to happen. Give me Ohio State to win I need to say it, the 50 and a half point spread, I'd give me Ohio State to cover as well.